Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new vlog and it's finally here. I am travelling to camp today, kind of. I haven't got the flights with camp this time so I'm going all by myself. I'm going to Canada for two days and then I will be going from there to Buffalo to Pennsylvania. So it's a bit of a journey but I'm super excited. I'm currently at Gatwick Airport and I have got through security. I'm going to grab some breakfast soon. I've had a bit of an emotional goodbye with George and just saying goodbye to my family. I don't know why it feels so different this time. Like, I'm not 19 anymore. I feel like I've got a lot more to lose. My dog's really old, like, I don't know. I've, after COVID, I just appreciate my family and close ones so much more now. It feels a bit harder to go this time. But I'm gonna make the most of it. It's the last time I can do any traveling like this. And I am excited, I'm really excited. I'm also, it's the first time I've vlogged in ages, so I'm getting back into the swing of things. Everyone's staring at me. Hopefully it's worth the embarrassments. Well, I am on the way to the gate, finally. I've just had breakfast, I must say. It was bloody lovely. I had marmite and cheese uh, toasty with a coffee so whoever's sitting next to me is going to be really lucky but yeah just on my way to the gate it says they're boarding now made it here but the plane got in two hours late so that was kind of annoying my legs were like jelly but on the bright side my suitcase literally came out as soon as I walked into the baggage hall so I'm just gonna get a bus to my hostel and I'll let you guys know when I'm there so after a very long bus ride and train journey I arrived at my hostel a lot of you are probably wondering why I didn't go straight to New York from here and why I came to Canada instead but basically the flights to Toronto were half the price and then the coach from Toronto to camp is like a quarter of the price and probably like a fifth of the length that it would take me to get to camp so it's kind of a no-brainer I'm gonna vlog my Toronto time separately so for now I will see you when I'm continuing my journey to camp well, it's been about two days since I last saw you all, and I'm out of the hostel. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely excited to be woken up by raccoons rather than random people's like snoring and farts and stuff. So, I'm just at Union Station now, and I'm trying to find the bus terminal. I'm pretty sure I'm going in the wrong direction, but hopefully, I come across someone who can tell me what the right direction is. Well, I'm in Erie. We made it, finally, with Claire. She came and picked me up all the way from Buffalo. So we've had a little road trip back and we just stopped off in- Get Go. Get Go. <laughs> Which Peach is Street. a service station on Peach Street. And um, we treated ourselves to some water. And? A, a PB&J sandwich. Specifically sandwich. <laughs> so yum. And you, wait, are you meant to toast them? I really can, but some people eat them frozen as well. Tastes a bit like peas. Peas? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, now I'm eating it's less peey. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't. <laughs> Luckily, I don't taste peas. <laughs> Whatever. It's kind of scary. 
Look at it. it is. Oh my gosh, oh can my you gosh. actually believe? Oh, and there's a raccoon. <gasps> see it? See the oh eyes? yeah, I see the eyes. Oh, it's Norm greeting me. This raccoon is so dumb right now. It's wrong, you cute little floofy oh, fly. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, I wonder where he's going to. Where's like he going? Rip into some trash somewhere. We are just in Camper's closet, um, getting me so messy. a pillow and sleeping bag and stuff. I'm quite happy I get first dibs though on like. You do, that is nice. Well, I've got the goods. I've got some sheets, a pillow, a duvet, and a backpack, because that's one thing I didn't bring, which I need. But we're heading up to, what's it called again? Christmas. Christmas. See, I'm, I'm such a rookie now. You're a newbie. I'm a newbie again. And yeah, then gonna head to sleep, because it's been a long old drive. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I'd get to camp without the Camp America flights and I will see you in the next video.